Hey, what's up guys? Super Miles Yo here. I'm recording this on my laptop, so quality is not going to be great, and it might die. Uh, but I, I just wanted to record my reaction for this Tears of the Kingdom footage. I'm so excited. It is before my first class, which I might very well be late for uh, because of this, but I don't care. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to Give actually it. play the game for you all today. Give me that brief glimpse. Like. Okay? Okay. Let's begin. Yes. Here we are, in the land of Hyrule. It's Breath of the Wild! Like the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Oh my, there's gonna be of course, so it's much. it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. There's coordinates. If we talk about all of the changes today, We'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out. So for I know where this is. This is like Fort Hateno right here. In or, this game, no, it's not. The vast world of Hyrule Hateno. reaches high into the sky. <sighs> you'll notice some land masses floating up there. Now there's an apple we instead of the Sheikah sky slate. Islands. or the runes. <laughs> You're probably wondering something. Yes. How do you get to the Sky Islands when oh. they're so high up? Oh yeah. If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Oh, do you see it? Now on L, there's a weird-looking tower to it. icon or something like that. This looks like we this. are almost at the spot where the object fell. Now it's different. It's the Here. L button. So the HUD looks very okay. similar. Let's use one of Link's new abilities. Very similar HUD with just a couple if you different. Do this on the rock that just fell. Oh. <laughs> Now we knew this. We knew it was like Look, rewinding it time. Rising. Good freaking this power is known night. As recall, which rewinds an object's movement. <sighs> Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. God. Move a lot closer to the sky islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Oh my god. There are a few other sky islands floating here too. I wonder what like I made it. The limitations of that are going to be. There are lots of ways to Who reach is the that? Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. Holy shart. Okay. Now we're on a slightly bigger sky island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some yeah, that looks like it's the master here. sword up there on L. What is you that? You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface though. Yeah. Yeah. Let's walk around for a bit. Please. Oh, look at how cool that looks on the map, though. There's a branch on the ground. So cool. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. <laughs> oh, Let's the tree continue. branch looks different. That's cool. Oh, something's there. What? This is a brand new enemy called a construct. <laughs> we'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. What? <laughs> Oh, ah, the well, broke. there we go. Not There's good, that weapon good. durability we all love. People were saying that. Oh, they better fix the paper paper weapons. Doesn't look like they did, folks. Soldier construct. Zonite charge. We've now explored more of this sky island. Zonite charge. Did you see that? Fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Yeah. That's... Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this, look, we can stick them together. What? We created a makeshift hammer. This is called Fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Let's take on another oh. construct with this Fuse weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. Oh my god. Go. Oh, it would be one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. What? The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. You okay. Can do all sorts of things by experimenting. Well, that's uh, that is good. <laughs> you can fuse two weapons, for example. Oh, if stop! We take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork. Make a long pitchfork. We can create a weapon with a much longer attack. <laughs> I was rate. joking. But that is ridiculous. With this, <laughs> we don't have to get too close to enemies. Yeah, you also can't can go through doors. That is ridiculous. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. 
For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Oh my god. So we okay. We were right about that. Um, material to an arrow. That keys eyeball looks like when you put the keys eyeball on an arrow, you get a homing arrow. I wonder if they'll show that. Very useful. Somebody was really sharp to catch that. By the way. Let's see. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late. But so these eyes can. Rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. I told you. Fuse it to an arrow and... God. Look, it homed in on the target. That is pretty ridiculous. Let's try this on another bird. And by that I mean awesome. Put a wing on there. I'll just fire in that general direction. That's very simple. That seems way too overpowered. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. Yeah. I fused a mushroom to my shield. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering if this Good. has any use. Good for you. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. I fused a mushroom to Let's my shield. Let's find an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. This is so the absurd. There's going to be links, so much so... to do. Attack! Dude. People are going to... Oh my combat, gosh. Imagine how many combinations they must have weapons. programmed. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could... Oh, turn this is going to be so weapon, absurdly fun. Even more gameplay options for sticking things together. The triple like rock the log stick. Some sword. Of the Sky Islands even have rivers. Stick. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's and Now look at L. There's that. like a hand. There's a bony hand. Boat. Of course, there isn't anything that That is so... I just want to know what those are, man. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Stop. Let's do one more. What is happening? We'll this over here They're making a raft. Attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. And there's like green this glue. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Ultra Even Hand! The logs are currently what? Attached, they can be detached. That is like, that Let's Ultra Hand was like an old raft. Nintendo toy, wasn't it? You can always attach things. That is such a like funny this. callback. I'm not imagining that. There was like a game called now, uh, if we put this on the water, Cooking with Ultra Hand. I don't even know what it was. So the buoyancy will keep it afloat. I saw it on Scott the Waz though. We've made a simplified version of a boat. Why did you move the third log? However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to